John Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies got the second best record out west. They're in Phoenix to take on the Suns. So these two teams faced off like a little over a month ago. There was no Paul and Booker in that game, and Memphis just really put it on Phoenix. I feel like Chris Paul remembered that game. He went off in the first quarter. How about 15 points in the opening frame for old reliable CP3? The Suns are up big already. Mikel Bridges getting to his spot and showing you that he's got a wicked jump shot. Bridges had 24 points. Back to old reliable. This is a nasty dime by the vet. Chris Paul between the legs to Big Mac Biombo. Suns up a bunch. It's a 24-point game here in the third when John ja Moran and Memphis decide to wake up. They got a lot of momentum from this three right here to beat the third quarter buzzer. A legit full court heave from Zaire Williams. He knocks it down. Memphis down just 15. All things considered, not too bad for a team that was down 20 plus. Desmond Bain in the fourth with the deuce. Memphis within striking distance with two minutes to play. Cam Johnson, a big time juice plus the foul to give the Suns a little bit of distance. It's a nine point game, 100 seconds to go. Dylan Brooks, a three point in response of his own. Desmond Bain inside, it's a two point game. Suns off the inbound. Cam Johnson gets trapped by Brooks and Steven Adams, and Memphis almost forces the turnover. Steven Adams actually injures himself on the play. It would have been another heave for Memphis, but hey, they made one big heave already in that game. They don't get a shot off, and it's Phoenix holding on by the thinnest of hairs to beat Memphis by Q. Well, let's kind of be honest about this. The reality is that Memphis Grizzlies team is a much better team than the Phoenix Suns, and they showed that in the second half of this basketball game, but they put themselves in so deep a hole, they just ran out of time, and they couldn't complete their comeback. That game played for five more minutes. I guarantee you the Grizzlies beat the Suns. I want to believe one of the reasons why a team like Phoenix even comes out the gate that strong is because Memphis has talked a lot of smack. Look, I'm from Memphis. Y'all know I love Memphis. Uh, the Grizzlies are an obnoxious basketball team. You know, I, this is the reality of the situation. They are, I, I'm sorry, any, anybody not a Grizzly fan would admit it. The Grizzlies, to, the, the, to, to most basketball fans, they're obnoxious. They are. And I don't, I'm not even saying that in a negative way. Like, I like the swagger that, that the Grizzlies got. They've created this chip on their shoulder that, on their shoulder that allows them to go out more times than not and really give it to their opponents, whether they're at home, on the road. The Grizzlies have been one of the, the, the four or five best teams in the regular season over the last couple of years. That's just the facts of the matter. The, but there's an opposite side to that. Every now and again, the Grizzlies are going to get the best punch from other teams that they got because they talk a lot. You know, nobody wants to sit around and watch a lot of guys from, from middle-class America try to act like they're from Memphis. I'm talking about to the masses, right? They're trying to embrace the, the swag of the city, but in the reality is it, 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 it does rub fans the wrong way because the, the typical fans are going to be like, yo, y'all haven't won anything. Y'all act like y'all the reigning NBA champs when the Warriors beat y'all and then went on to win the championship. Y'all act like y'all been to the finals and had the best regular in the regular season last year. That was actually the Phoenix Suns. Best record in regular season last year. Year before that, they were in the finals and took Giannis in the Bucks six games. So, the reality is Memphis is going to get those wake-up calls because they're not surprising anybody anymore. Everybody knows this is a really good team. Grizzlies are a really good team, and they will beat you up. And I believe one of the reasons why they'll beat you up is because they got that swagger, man. They young. They don't know no better. And they coming in your business, to, your building to walk in your trap and take over your trap. Now, opposite of that is when a team really wakes up, they really wake up for the Grizzlies. So they're going to see some of these explosions, I believe, over the next couple months because the jig is up. People know Memphis is a team that is to be reckoned with. Again, they're one of the better teams over the last couple years in the league. They are a tad bit obnoxious, though. I, even being from Memphis, loving my hometown, 
I have to admit, this is <laughs> they are an obnoxious basketball team. If you ain't a fan of them, it's very tough to like them because of some of the ways, you know, you got Dylan Brooks, you know, saying that they're a dynasty, they're building a dynasty. Josh saying he ain't worried about nobody out West, even though they've lost out West, which is, you know, whatever, you know, I think um, the Grizzlies know why a team like Phoenix woke up for that game and, and beat them. 